The Luna coin was a cryptocurrency that was established in early 2018. It promised to have a more democratic approach to the way it is governed with their decentralized governance system. Luna is an ERC-20 token based on the Ethereum blockchain, and it will be used to power the Luna network. The main goal of this coin was to provide an alternative for people who are disenchanted with the current political climate and economic system in other countries. The Luna team was headed by Du Quan, an overly confident, eccentric 30-year-old who hailed Luna as the world-changing currency. He named the cryptocurrency Luna and proudly referred to his supporters as lunatics. Kwon was born in South Korea in 1991. According to his LinkedIn page, he attended Stanford University in 2010, graduating with a computer science degree in 2015. Little is known about his early life and college years, but a public website created by Du Kwon says he worked at a Microsoft business partner and at Apple. Mr. Kwon, who operates out of South Korea and Singapore, often flex his achievements on social media. In April, he welcomed his newborn daughter, whom he proudly named Luna, tweeting, My dearest creation named after my greatest invention. Welcome to the 1% of Society channel, where the elite minds gather. Do like and subscribe if you like our content. So what caused the Luna coin to collapse? The price of Luna went up from $1 to $116 in April, making a group of people crypto millionaires. A community of retail traders hailed Mr. Kwan as a cult hero and respected financiers, so called whales backed him with their millions. Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz, who had also invested in the company, showed his support by getting a Luna themed tattoo. Pantera Capital, a hedge fund that invested in Mr. Kwan's project, made a profit of about 100 times its initial investment after selling roughly 80% of its holdings over the last year, turning $1.7 million into $170 million. This year, Kwan's non-profit sold $1 billion worth of Luna to investors, using the proceeds to buy Bitcoin. Around the same time, some of the venture capital firms that had backed Mr. Kwan started to have concerns. HackVC, a venture firm sold its Luna tokens in December, partly because we felt the market was due for a broader pullback. Martin Bauman, a founder of the Hong Kong-based venture firm CMCC Global, said his company sold its holdings in March, at about $100 per coin. We had gotten increasing concerns, he said in an email, both from tech side as well as regulatory side. Ether prices have been falling for the last few months and some investors are afraid of a possible collapse. Mr. Kwan dismissed concerns, taunting, I don't debate the poor. Mr. Kwan often jokes about the companies he invests in, saying it is entertaining to watch other companies crumble because it means more opportunities for his company to grow. Last week, a combination of a falling crypto market and bearish economic trends led to a panic in markets. The price of Luna fell to almost zero, and the price of TerraUSD also crashed alongside it, dropping from $1 to $0.91. Cents. In a matter of days, Luna had become literally worthless. I am heartbroken about the pain my invention has brought on all of you, he tweeted earlier in May. Some institutional investors have lost money, for example Changpeng Zhao, CEO of the crypto exchange Binance. Binance had bought $3 million of Luna which peaked at a value of $1.6 billion. Binance never sold their tokens and as of now, their holdings of Luna are only worth $3,000. Much of the pain of the collapse has also been felt by regular traders. On a Reddit forum for Luna supporters, users shared lists of suicide hotlines, as people who had poured their savings into Luna or TerraUSD expressed despair. The downfall of Luna and TerraUSD is yet another example of a crypto hype and the vast majority of retail investors left holding the bag when it all comes crashing down. The crash has also devastated the enthusiasts who were building startups that used the crypto infrastructure developed by Mr. Kwan. So what lesson can we learn from the devastating Luna crash? Firstly, before investing in crypto, you should know there's almost no protection for crypto investors. And the problem is this virtual currency is extremely volatile and driven by hype. 
Investing in the stock market isn't always easy it can be tempting to follow social media trends and YouTube recommendations and reviews of new coins, but an adrenaline rush can easily turn into frustration with a crash. You should also be wary of crypto scams. One often used scheme is a pump and dump, in which scammers encourage people to buy a certain token, causing its value to rise. When it does, the scammers sell out, often pushing the price down for everyone else. These scams are prominent, and they took in more than $2.8 billion worth of crypto in 2021. To conclude, there are still some stable coins in cryptocurrency market aside from Bitcoin, however you will have to do your due diligence and research to avoid being another Luna statistic. Thank you for watching till the end with us, do post your comments if there is still hope for the Luna coin or is it really game over?